Good evening guys, welcome back to my channel. I don't know why I'm saying good evening because it could be any time of the day where you are. Um, but I'm filming it in the evening, I'm in my studio for um, just half an hour quickly. But I'm about to cut out a project that I thought I might as well do a sewing vlog on because I feel like this might be of interest to some of you. So you might be a fan of the film Encanto, the Disney movie. I'm going to be making a dress from that movie for my niece. Um, it's her birthday this month, well this coming month, and she absolutely loves the characters and I thought I would love to make a Isabella dress. So I'm using this McCall's pattern, but it, this was a pattern that was in the stash of patterns that my nan gave me and it's uh, age seven. Now my niece is actually only four. <laughs> Um, so what I've had to do is I've had to take I've had to take my niece's measurements and adjust it. So I cut out the size seven uh, pattern, and then I compared it to a dress of my niece's that my sister gave me to sort of like use as a um, as a basis, I guess. And I've made some little twirl pattern pieces. So now I can go ahead and start cutting. So because I thought I'm cutting this out today and starting the project, I thought I'd film a vlog. So yeah, I'll show you how it all comes together. Um, so if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. So if you have clicked on this video because you want to make an Isabella dress or you're just genuinely interested, it would be handy for you to have some form of paper pattern that you're familiar with or some kind of basic structure for a pattern. Or what you can do is take one of your little girl's dresses and use the frame of like a very plain dress and make your own pattern on some like uh, scrap fabric or some paper. Um, so that's essentially what I've done. I've taken a pattern that I um, know is good um, because me and my nan have made this before and it's got some really basic sort of pattern pieces in it. So let me show you. It's kind of like this on the back. Um, so it's just got a very simple bodice and because it's obviously a little girl's pattern, it's got no darts, um, so you don't have to worry too much about resizing it as much. So yeah, so that's kind of what I'm basing it on, is the pattern like that, and then I'm going to add my own elements as I go through the video, and I just hope that I can get it to look okay. In terms of the fabrics for this, I got this satin, this lilac satin from eBay, and I got a selection of embellishments. This was a piece that I got for my wedding dress that I didn't end up using. And then I got these other um, embellishments. So I got these little flowers, pastel flowers, um, and then some like mint green ones. She does have a lot of pink flowers on her dress as well, so I might have to order a few more pink flowers. And then I got this. I think I ever got this on Etsy or eBay. I can't remember, but I will link the fabrics that I actually ordered below so you can go and get them for yourself but i got this sheer polka dot lilac fabric which isabella has on her shoulders and she has like a little neck ruffle as well in this so yeah um so they're the fabrics that i'm going to use i'm actually gonna do the dress and line it in the same fabric um i'm just gonna line the bodice not not all of it um and then i've obviously got this as well so i'm gonna cut out the pieces and i'll show you um how it comes together so what I'm doing is I've taken the skirt piece and I've just cut that out on the fold and then because Isabella's dress is like tiered um, I've just laid it out and cut a longer piece as well um, so there'll be three tiers and the top tier is going to be the sheared fabric so you'll have like this kind of like floaty effect hopefully um, but yeah so I just need to do another one of these layers and then I can move on to the sleeves So here's the sleeve guys, you can see the layers of the tulle um, and I hand stitched it last night because I was just hand stitching uh, pieces of it together whilst I was watching TV last night <laughs> um, and then now I'm just sat on my sewing machine in my dining room and um, this is my spare sewing machine that I've got from my nan, um, she's lent it to me so I can do some sewing in the house because my studio is up there, there's Chrissy doing a workout. Um, so when it's like raining and then when I'm looking after Willow I can actually do some sewing which is good. Um, so yes yeah, so I'm just doing the gathers in the top of the sleeve and then it will go into the bodice. Um, so this is the, the bodice one layer and it will be, there's two layers of this so it will be lined. Um, so that's the neckline and all of this will be obviously into the lining so it will be neat. Um, so that's kind of it so far. 
Uh, so yeah, I'm just working on the sleeves and then I can work on the other pieces. I've got three layers of the skirt, <laughs> all Willow's toys. Um, so yeah, that's it in a nutshell at the moment. So I'm just at the stage of sewing the lining to the bodice. Um, I'm doing this process before I attach the skirt and I'm just literally putting it right sides together and doing it across the neckline with the little ruffle enclosed in between. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just stitch that neckline and then I'll show you what that's looking like. So it's looking like this. So I'm just gonna clip this curve around the um, curvy bits <laughs> um, and then I can turn it the right way. Hey friends, so here is where I am with the dress. It's pretty much looking like a functional dress right now, but I just wanna show you and talk you through the final sort of things that I need to do with it and what I've kind of done to get to this stage. So um, with the skirt tiers, I followed the skirt pattern um, from the pattern that I showed you at the start, the, um, I think it's the McCall's one, but anyway, um, I cut out a skirt piece. This was the original skirt piece and the length. But what I did is I laid, um, I cut three pieces of skirt, one and two from the obviously lilac fabric and then another from the netting fabric. And I made sure that they were all different tiered in length. And I just, if I'm completely honest, just did it by eye. Um, but obviously you can measure this as well, depending on how tall um, your child is or whatever. Um, so then what I did is I laid them on top of each other and Isabella has like a, a an asymmetric style dress so it goes kind of like that way then that way and then her bottom layer is um, flush so straight. So that's kind of what I've done with the skirt tiers and then I've hemmed this skirt as well just did like a really small rolling hem as small as I could get it with this uh, fabric because it's not got much drapeless fabric so it's quite chunky um, I've still got to hem the bottom but I'm going to wait to measure it on my niece to make sure that it's not too long for her um, and then I don't need to hem the netting because obviously um, it won't fray um, so yeah there we are and then with the sleeves um, I did again two rectangles of ruffle fabric so I laid out the sleeve flat, this part of the sleeve, and then I just cut some rectangles that were about one and a half um, the measurement of this. Um, and then I did two layers of it. So you can see here, there's one layer that's smaller and then a longer layer. And I added that to the sleeve before I put the sleeve into the dress. So you can see here, it's um, I did that on the flat with it um, gathered. But the only issue is this fabric is going to be quite itchy so I'm planning on adding some like silk bias tape over this on the inside and I might have to hand stitch it but we will see. Um, just so that you might you will obviously see it from the outside but I'd rather it be um, wearable and not itchy for my little niece than to keep that exposed. Um, same with the neck ruffle, what I've done is I just did a rectangle fabric gathered it um, on one side and added it to the um, the neckband of one of the body fronts. Um, so just attached it to the one half, one side. And then, yeah, um, lining it. So I've lined the top, as you can see here, I've lined it and I hand stitched around the armhole. So I just um, sewed the lining together as I would um, the outside and then I lined it, um, and then I attached the lining good side to good side on the neck at the top, um, turned it the right way out, and then did a top stitch. Um, top stitching down that neck ruffle as well to keep it flat, because it was coming upwards. So yeah, that's um, why I did that. Um, I've left an opening for a zip, so you can see the zip will go in between these two uh, lining two layers, the outer and the lining layer. And then the skirt, um, I attached all together around the waist and put in a gathering seam because it's ever so slightly bigger. So you can see it's like got a few little tucks where I've had to sort of gather it to the waist. Um, so yes, yeah, so I need to put in a zip. My zip only goes to about here because um, I had one in my stash. So I don't want to have to rebuy a new zip. So I'm just going to put in a small zip like that. And then I'm going to do a kind of little loop of fabric like you get in a corset. 
um, and then a little button so that it will have like that much out um, and then it's just gonna have a little loop little button like a little flower button and then it will do up at the top with a little button like that so that's kind of it um, it was actually really easy to put together and the modifications I made a lot of them I just did by eye I didn't really um, measure it or anything but hopefully this is kind of helpful when it comes to making your own Isabella dress uh, the next stage for me is obviously to put that zip in and do the button enclosure at the top and then I need to add all of my flowers to the dress as well so so this piece of lace also I'm showing you one handed so it's a bit difficult um, I think it's that way yeah so that will go on like here so I think that will be the main piece and then Isabella's flowers sort of go from there like down um, and then she's got a few bits around the neckline as well so that's the plan, I'm going to hand stitch all of these flowers on though, just so that, um, yeah, it's nice and easy, and I can do it whilst I'm watching TV. So yeah, what do you think guys? Um, I'm going to show you the finished dress in the next clip, um, and I'll talk through any things that I need to do as well, and show you like the zip and stuff like that when it's finished. But yeah, I'm super pleased with how it's coming along, it's like an utterly proud moment when I've been visualising it for so long. So I'm just sewing the inside of the dress and I just wanted to give you a quick insight into what the inside looks like because the inside is never what you see. Um, so I just use a zigzag to neaten the edges and obviously put my zipper in. And then what I'm doing with the lining is, um, so it's lined hand stitched around the armhole and I encased the netting with inside that the netting seam just so it's like nice and smooth um, and it's not not itchy and then the um, the waist of the lining is folded under I'll show you here so that you can see the seam there where the skirt joins the top so the lining is just encasing that seam allowance by folding the seam allowance under um, just ever so slightly longer than a seam allowance actually and then just I'm um, hand stitching it all the way around so then the finish will look like this and this is on the inside so you won't see any of this but um, I'm just hand stitching it together um, super straightforward, simple process, and it just encases that seam on the inside. So you've got no itchiness going on. And then this little bit of ribbon as well around um, that bit of netting. And I just hand stitched that as well. So a lot of this dress is hand stitched, which I just did purely because sometimes a sewing machine on a small dress for a child um, can be a little bit fiddly. So yeah, it's been quite therapeutic to be able to just sit here and do some hand stitching. So that just has covered up that seam, that itchy seam of this kind of net netted fabric. And hopefully won't have any issues with it being itchy for her or anything like that. If it is, I will be uh, shocked because I've put a lot of time and energy into it to not be itchy. <laughs> um, so I'm going to continue sewing this and finish it off. And then it's a case of sewing on the flowers. Um, I've hemmed it so that's all done so yeah just got to sew the flowers and show you sort of the placement of the flowers and the finished dress this is the front of the dress and this is the main piece of um, flowers that I got this is a piece from Etsy that I actually originally had for my wedding dress but I want the flowers to go like down like that and then she's got some more that sort of like go down her skirt so this is like the fundamental piece that I just wanted to get on first because it's obviously a bigger, bigger piece. And then again, I'm just hand stitching it through um, just this mesh layer. So, so it's not going to be all stuck to the skirt. And then up here, it will just be through the top layer, not through to the lining. Um, so it's a little bit of fiddly work going on here, but it's quite satisfying um, just to sit there and do it. And then I've got lots of other flowers to add uh, by hand as well. And here you go, guys. Here's the finished dress. Um, I didn't put in the ribbon for this side yet, I need to say that um, hand stitch out this evening but I just wanted to show you guys while I'm in my studio so that I could film it and show you how it's all come together. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the process of how I made it. A um, few obviously mod modifications to a simple little girl's dress pattern but I feel like it is really effective adding the little ruffle sleeves, the ruffle on the neckline 
and then obviously um, creating that asymmetric hem um, and adding all the applique flowers and yeah I'm really really pleased with how it looks I feel like I've done a pretty good job at matching Isabella's dress and that's it so thank you so much for watching and if you got this far in the video and you haven't subscribed make sure to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you are going to attempt to make an Isabella dress for yourself and yeah see you next time bye